Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And some somebody sent me this yesterday and wanted to know how to draw it. Then I came up with something close, uh, but this wasn't easy, or it wasn't easy for me. But I got it, and I don't know if I'm doing it the right way. But this is how I came up with it. Take a, let's just move this out of the way for a second. And, and once you do it to size, you could make it like any size you wanted because it's a field and not a line. But let's take a an ellipse, hold down the control button and let's make it a two inch ellipse. Control D and make a duplicate and make the duplicate one inch. Now what that gives us is half inch spaces. So control G and group that together. Now, draw a square 7.5 inches. And you just need, probably a couple of ways to do this would be to one, just put this one on this corner. And then we need to space them out and see they're not the same. And I started using indexing lines to kind of, well, that one goes there and that one goes there. So they're really, I don't know the mathematical yet, but this is, let's see what this distance is. Because they're different on each side. Let's take the um, parallel dimension tool. and So that's one inch and that's what I was thinking. So if you have a one inch from the center, so there, you need to nudge two inches. So we're going to control D and make a duplicate or, well, see, that's not, I'm not a math wizard. So that gets it there, but now we need a one inch gap. So we need to do three inches. So let's change it to three. There we go. And then control D. And that gives us that. Now we need another one on this corner. So we're just going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it to this corner. And then we'll use the same terminology. Plus key, move it over. Plus key, move it over. And then what was really confusing is that this only has two circles uh, this way. So we'll just take this circle right here and just hit plus key down, plus key, down, whoop. And then same thing here, plus key up, plus key up. Now I would like to check it before I do anything. I'm just gonna nudge my rectangle out of, out of well, what I should have done. Sorry about that. This is kind of the key thing here. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete the insides of the circle. So now you've got all your shapes. Now we can actually change our nudge to like eight inches and nudge this out of the way. And in theory, you ought to be able to take your indexing lines and just kind of check your, that does, cause it needs to go to every other one. So that's going to work. Let's go down. Yep. It's a lot easier than I did it the first time. So then all you have to do is take a two point line and make sure you go from node to node. Make sure you're on the node because you don't want to leak. It'll actually snap to that node and see what is happening where it's continuation of the the flow is going like pipes from one to the other. And you might even be able to uh, make lines and nudge them down. We could actually try that. Um, let's set our Let's set our nudge on a half inch, 0.5. And then you just have to delete some of them. Let's go control D and nudge that down. 
and then control D and move it down, control D. And well, one, you'd have the lines, two, it should snap right to it. And there's probably a mathematical um, equation for that. Well, I know there is, I just, for the video, this is gonna work. So you're really done. Now you just, the only problem, somebody noticed this yesterday in my circles, and I'm gonna address that. So we're gonna go, we're gonna have the, the paint or the, the flow this way. So on this time, we need to go across, down, across, down, come around here, and we're gonna go the opposite. So cross, up and down, across, 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 up and down. You're just, well, you're just doing the opposite each time. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to look forward to see what my next step is. And I think we have it. Now, the only problem with this is it doesn't work like you think it should. And we're going to take the smart fill. Let's see what our nudge is. There's two corners that for some reason doesn't work. So we got, let's nudge it out of the deal 11 inches. Take the smart fill tool and fill this in. Fill that in and just kind of be looking to make sure you get all the shapes, but don't double the shapes because then it could cause problem. Just kind of, well, I see a mistake right there. I didn't get one of the lines. And I, I actually deleted a line I need. So it's very easily while you're doing this, just take a two point line and whoop, and take the smart fill tool. And then I would start at the bottom because we kind of uh, got off track and I don't want to do an over mess up. Just make sure you get them all. And we need that one and that one. Now, the problem I found, and I think a viewer mentioned it, and I didn't really understand what he was talking about. I am going to left click, right click, but each one of these are different. <clears throat> and see here, there's two lines there, but there's only one line there. And I know I smart filled that. And left click, right click. There should there should be a, a stopping point there. So what we have to do to make this right is to well, what we can do is just take a I don't I don't know, I'll hopefully I can figure this out later. Take a two point line and just put it in there. And then go down to the bottom and take a two point line and put it in there. Cause when we um when we uh, contour this, it, that's not going to look right. So on those two parts, and I don't, so I've tried this before, and let's see what it looks like now. See, it's still, well, I guess it's supposed to go past there. But anyway, so here we go. We're going to group all this together. Go to group, group, and then we can open up the contour docker, and we're going to contour to the inside 0 0.05 in red. And see, it didn't work on this side. So what we need to do is draw a line so we have a space. And in this case, which I, I don't like it, but it's the only way I know how to do it, we need to um, back to Smart Fill. Because the very first one I ever did, Smart Fill, and then we figured out we didn't have to. But we're going to have to in this case. So we're gonna, our nudge factor is still 12 in, or 11 inches. Now we're going to smart fill all these. And it might be better to go around the outside first. Whoop. 
I hit the, the I hit the uh, gap and not the uh, part, and then go through here and get these other parts. I don't know if that was better or not. We need a couple more parts. We got them all. Now you see what it did because of the smart film we put in those extra lines. It did work and it did look good. So that's what that viewer was trying to tell me yesterday. I just didn't quite understand. So if we look at that, let's get it off the page board so you can see it better. And if you always, if you want to, I like to take a yellow box, fill it in, yellow object order, back of page, and it looks a lot, it, it just shows off the joints. Pretty unique drawing. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and answered their questions, and thank you for watching.